Hello everyone. In this video we're going to be solving a radical equation. We have x equals 1 plus the square root of x squared plus 9 and we're going to be solving for x values. I'm going to go ahead and walk you through the solution and at the end I'm going to show you a graph which kind of explains what we have. Okay, so let's go ahead and solve this problem by normal means. What would you do if you had a radical equation? We would like to isolate the radical first, so here's the steps. Isolate the radical and then square both sides to get rid of the radical. And at the end, check your work because you might be introducing extraneous solutions. Extraneous solutions pop up at the end, but they don't satisfy the original problem because of the square root. So there are some requirements, but we're just going to solve it by isolating the radical. Let's go ahead and do it. First, subtract 1 from both sides, and then square both sides. Let's do it. And when we square both sides, the square root and the square are kind of like inverse operations or thingies. They cancel out. And if you expand this, you get x squared minus 2x plus 1 equals x squared plus 9. Nice, because we're going to get rid of x squared. So this becomes linear. You can subtract 1. You get 8, divide both sides by negative 2, or just think. Negative 2 times what number equals 8? And the answer is negative 4. So x equals negative 4 is the solution to this equation, or is it? Let's find out. Okay, what do we do? We have to plug it into the original problem. What is the original equation? Remember that? It's this one. When you plug in negative 4 on both sides, here you get negative 4. I'm going to put a question mark because we don't know if they're going to be equal yet. x squared is 16. 16 plus 9 is 25. The square root of 25 is 5. 1 plus 5 is 6. Is 1 plus 5 equal to negative 4 or is negative 4 equal to 6? And the answer is a big fat no. They're not equal. How come? Well, we already talked about it. This is an extraneous solution. But it's the only solution, right? Doesn't matter. Radical equations are so radical, sometimes they don't accept any solutions. In some radical equations will not have any solutions, and that's totally fine. Don't hate me for that, because radical equations are radical. So now, let's go ahead and explain a little bit why this equation doesn't have any solutions, because there's an explanation. And it's actually fairly simple, and I hope you like it. Well, here's the thing. Is x positive or negative? One question to raise, right? And I'm claiming that x must be positive. Why? Because I have a radical on the right-hand side plus 1. This right-hand side needs to be greater than 0. I'm not saying greater than or equal to 0 because it can't even equal 0. Think about it. Can this equal 0? This implies that the square root of x squared plus one, 9 is equal to negative 1, which is impossible, right, for real x values. We're talking real here, okay? So, this is not going to work. I mean, uh, the right-hand side is positive, but right-hand side equals the left-hand side because that's an equality. It's an equation. So, x must be what? Positive. Under those circumstances, think about the following. Square root of x squared plus 9 is greater than square root of x squared. Do you agree? Why? Because the expressions inside the radical is bigger. So the square root of x squared is x. It's absolute value, but x is positive, remember? So what does this give me? The square root of x squared plus 9 is greater than x. So when you add 1 to both sides, it's going to be even greater than x. So how can that equal x? That's impossible, right? That's why we don't get any solutions from here because of this inequality. Make sense? I hope it does. Let's go ahead and take a look at the graph and we'll finish up. So the graph should give us some intersection points, but guess what? There are none. There's no intersection points because there are no real solutions. Here's a good question to ask. Are there any complex solutions to this equation? And that's for you to find out because... This brings us to the end of the yeah, Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.